There it is. All right, well, <laughs> let me just double check. I hope, I hope we're all right, everyone. Technical difficulties. Yep. You're good. Yay! All right. Hi, everyone. I hope all of you are enjoying your Sunday. Um, yeah, you got to turn the volume down. Holy moly. <laughs> um, so I am here today to do a live sale with everyone. I hope you guys uh, have fun. And uh, maybe I can get rid of some stuff because I'm frankly sick of looking at it. <laughs> uh, anyways, oh, my Sophie, she's just got to be in the picture, you know? Um, I am not able to see your comments. I mean, I can, but uh, it's kind of going to interfere with um, the sale. So if there's anything really important, my daughter will relay the message to me. And also, I can answer comments via my YouTube channel. So it will come up as right. Sincerely Jessica. Right. <laughs> okay, everyone. So I have... 50 items that uh, I'm going to show you today, and um, let's get started. All right, so let me get my um, my little cheat sheet over here. Wanted to show you guys my shirt. Hang on, let me put this down a little bit. <laughs> Best shirt ever. <laughs> All right, let me get this back up here. Okay. Item number one is this beautiful Fenton hobnail. Um, I don't know if you would consider it a vase or a, uh, for a plant. I have no idea, but it's a beautiful amber color. And I'm offering this for um, 10 bucks. No chips, no cracks, perfect condition. So if anyone's interested, shout out number one. Maybe you should explain how you're doing it. Like if oh yes, wants to buy that something. would help. So um, what I'm doing um, for anybody that wants to buy something, um, we will write your name down next to the item that you want. And what you need to do is email me. My email is in all of my videos in the description box. Email me your um, mailing address with zip code and your PayPal um, email address as well. And what I will do is I will package your item, weigh it up, and then send you an invoice for the total, okay? All right, with that being said, let's move on to item number two. Uh, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous, you guys, and heavy. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous picture. It's in excellent shape. There's no chips, no cracks, but look at the detailing. It looks almost like stained glass. And it's a large picture, uh, picture. I would say it's probably like two quarts at least. I don't know who makes it, but um, this is number two. And I am asking uh, $25 for this picture. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Um, are, we're strictly dealing with PayPal, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Just so PayPal. So unfortunately, if you don't have PayPal... Um, that's going to be the way that you're running the sale is payments via PayPal. Right, right. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, it's much easier and, um, you know, I'm sorry. Plus you can, you're able to print the labels and all of that. Too. Right. And I print the labels through PayPal and hope you guys understand. All right. Item number three is this beautiful green... Uh, blown glass vase. It's beautiful. Look at the detailing on that bottom part. It's gorgeous. Again, there's no name or anything on it. I have no idea if it's Murano or what it is, 
but this is number three, and this is $12. Sandy, um, Sandy P would like number three. All right. All right, Sandy. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. Number four is this gorgeous Millie Fiore paperweight blown glass in the shape of an apple. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that detail, you guys. It is gorgeous. Again, I have no idea if this is Murano or not. There was no stickers or markings on it. Um, this is $15, and this, again, is number four. Oh, let's see. I'll put it over there. I'm going to start putting some of these items over here, guys, for now. All right. Number five. Oh, these are phenomenal. Number five are these 3D chalkware wall plaques. Show them to you this way. Um, they are in really good condition for the age. And they are 3D. If you look, you can see that they're sticking right out, like they're actually looking out the window. These are amazing. There is, you know, some paint loss and everything, and um, they need to have new hangers put on the back because these are pretty old. But I'm asking um, $30 for the pair. Number five. Oh, please don't drop them. Okay. Uh, next up is, I have a lot of Anchor Hocking Ruby Red vases. This one actually still has the sticker. So it is a set of three. These two, this beautiful bud vase. And this little bud vase. They're beautiful and a gorgeous deep red color. Um, they're in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. So this is number six. And for the set of three, it's $15. Um, let me see. Next we have number seven is this vintage Beagle Dresser Caddy. He's adorable. He's made in Japan, I believe. There was something on the bottom here. Maybe, maybe not. Nope. Um, but um, he is in really good sh uh, condition. The only issue is his little foot there has a chip but you won't even see that when it's sitting. Has a little hole there. I would assume you put like a pen or something in there. Very cute. Number seven, this is $12. All right. Okay, next we have um, this beautiful uh, Lennox. It's a grape leaf uh, nut dish. It is beautiful. Look at that handle. And this is the bottom. You can see there that it says Lennox. So this is number eight, and I'm asking $15 for this. Do you wanna just do a recap of what we're doing? Just cause pe for new people come Right, in. okay. My daughter's so smart. This is all kind of new to me, this live stuff. So just a little recap. What I am doing is trying to sell some items via a live stream. Um, whoever wants to buy something, all you have to do is uh, shout out your the number of the item that you want. And my daughter will write your name down. And then you can contact me via my email, which is in my description box of all my videos. 
and um, we'll go from there. You will need to email me your mailing address and your PayPal email address because all payments will go through PayPal. And all of the items are not including shipping just right. because depending on the item, the weight and all of that, right. you um, are going to do the shipping after you receive the correct, correct address. So I will. Uh, what I will do is I will package your item, weigh it, then I will send you an invoice through PayPal with your total, which would include the shipping. All right. Uh, Number nine. Somebody went to number nine? No, I'm saying. Oh, next okay. One yes, number nine. number nine. Okay. This is gorgeous. This beautiful picture of Jesus as a young boy. I think he was like 13 um, in this picture. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the frame is pretty old. It has the little hanger thing on the top. Um, this I was asking $20 for. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's 18 by 10. Yes, it's an 18 by 10 picture. So again, let me show you the back. Number nine is $20. All right, uh, next, number 10, is this little Amberina, I call it a dot picture. So cute, I just love it. It's in perfect condition. Uh, this I'm asking $12 for, and again, it's number 10. Very pretty. I hope you all are doing well today. I'm kind of like, I almost wasn't going to do the this video today because I wasn't feeling good um, in the middle of the night. So I'm glad I was able to get it together and um, and do this for everyone. Okay, um, next is, oh, this gorgeous, hang on a minute, guys. I don't want to break anything. is this beautiful dresser tray. Um, this is by ZS and C, and it's from Bavaria. Beautiful pattern. Gorgeous, no cracks, no chips. I'm asking 15, this is the bottom. $15 for the dresser tray, which is number 11 beautiful it is um I'm assuming it's like ceramic or porcelain yes somebody asked if it was glass yep all right all right next is this little set I don't know if Fenton made these or not but it's these two I don't know if they're salt cellars or if they're tea light holders, but there's two of these. And I was gonna throw in this little, um, I don't know, you could use it as a little trinket thing or a planter or whatever. It's like a um, the daisy button pattern, I believe. It's really cute. These are all in really good condition. And this, ah, this whole set of three is $12. And again, this is number 12. Beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. Uh, let's see. Oh, this vintage. Uh, Kelly Long would like number 12. All right. Okay, Kelly. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Okay, next is this vintage. Um, oh, and, and she would like 11. Okay. So Kelly wants number 11 and number 12. All right. That's great. Um, okay, next up is this. Um, I don't, I think this is, this might be chalkware. 
Um, it is a God Bless Our Home wall plaque. And this is going all the way back to 1964, this piece. It's in really great condition. I'm asking $12 for it. This is number 13. I will even show you the thing on the back that someone had stuck on there, the little sticker. Uh, Cindy would like 13. Cindy W. Okay, Cindy, it's all yours, sweetie. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful piece. Also, just so you guys know, whoever is coming up first, um, obviously we only have one item for each number, so I'm just doing it yep. as a first come basis. Right. Whoever shouts out first is so, the one that gets I'm it. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> sorry, Carol. Which Carol is that? Poulter. Okay. All right. So, um, I hope all of you watched my um, eclair cake video yesterday. I've been doing nothing but eating eclair cake since uh, yesterday afternoon. <laughs> it was really delicious. Okay. Next is number 14. And it is this vintage home interiors picture. Uh, it is 15 and a half by 13 and a half, the picture. Picture, sorry. I absolutely love it. It's got the strawberries and the daisies. And then to go with it are these two plaques of raspberries and strawberries in baskets. So there we go. And that was um, $20 for the picture, the picture, <laughs> what is wrong with me today, and the two plaques. All right. This is such a cute little item, and the only problem with it is it's missing its spoon. Uh, this is number 15. This is a Japan piece. It's a little, I'm assuming, um, maybe an orange marmalade jar, jelly jar. Um, it has the little cutout for the spoon. But I mean, you could use any kind of spoon in here. And um, I'm asking $10 for this little cutie. I think it's so pretty. All righty. I have next, which is number 16, these two beautiful um, Anchor Hocking Forest Green Bud Vases. They're in perfect condition, no cracks, no chips. Um, I was asking $12 for the pair. They're really very, very pretty. I love this color green. So again, that's number 16. And they're $12. All righty. Um, oh, number 17 is this very awesome vintage bourbon decanter in the frosted glass. Um, hold on one second. Oh. Carol W. would like number 16. Oh. Carolyn, sorry. Carolyn? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so again, this is number 17, and I have no idea who makes this, but look at those graphics on the front. That screams, you know, like 40s, 50s, like mid-century modern, I would say. I don't know, 50s, 60s. Very cool. It's in really great condition, and I am asking $15 for the bourbon decanter has the lid, the cork is a little, if I recall, I did glue the cork back together because it was, it came apart, it cracked. So there it is. All right. Uh, okay, oh, this is gorgeous, you guys. Number 18. 
is this beautiful Fenton satin glass uh, green Mother's Day plate from 1980. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it does um, glow in the dark when you shine a black light on it. And I'm asking $12 for this plate, number 18. And it actually says hand painted by Fenton. Um, hold on one second, we're going back. Uh, okay. So number six, which was the Anchor Hawking. Piper Ruby. Smith. Yes. Okay. And then Cindy W would like number 18. Hi, Cindy Duncan. <laughs> That's who I was talking no. to last night. <laughs> uh, no, it's Cindy W. No, I know, but I'm, oh. I'm saying hi to Cindy oh. Duncan. Oh, Lynn Hampton <laughs> wants number 18. Okay, Cindy already. Oh, Cindy who? War Cindy Warman. Okay, Cindy Warman already got this. I'm, I'm so sorry, Lynn. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we have next? Oh, okay. Number 19 is this very cool from the 70s. Gemco condiment server. It's in perfect condition. I don't even think it was really ever used. And I was asking eh, 12 bucks. $12 for the Gemco condiment server. It has the spoons, the little flip top. It's awesome. I'm assuming you would put ketchup and mustard in here. I, I love this piece. If this doesn't sell, I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> All right. Put that down there. So how many of you are going to make this eclair cake that I made yesterday? We have a lot of people saying that they're going to make it. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I knew it. Well, it didn't help that I was making their mouth water when I was eating it, you know, on camera. Right. <laughs> All right. I, I have a couple other videos uh, coming up, too. I have another craft video and, um, like, a vlog uh, video coming up, too. So, yummy. You got that right. All right. Next up is number 20, and it is this Anchor Hocking Ruby Red Creamer. It's really beautiful. No cracks, no chips. Um, I was asking $10 for this, um, but I might actually take eight. Beautiful. Okay, so that is number 20. If anybody wants to give me $8, it is yours. Some of these items I'm changing my mind on on the price, <laughs> obviously. Um, just do another quick recap. All right. So um, for those of you that are just joining in, this is a live sale. Um, I am offering different Rachel, items. Rachel M wants uh, 20. All right. Rachel, hey. <laughs> so I'm going to please change it to yep, 8 To $8, yep. Um, so... Whatever number item that you want, you got to shout it out. Let my daughter know. Say, I want number 10 or number 15. She will write your name down. At the end of the stream, um, I have my email and all of my, description, my descriptions on my videos. Whoever purchases anything needs to contact me in my email, giving me your, your home mailing address and your PayPal email address. Because what I'll do is package your item up, get the shipping costs, and send you an invoice through PayPal for your total, okay? So all of these items are without shipping. That's just the cost of the item, all right? And of course, the smaller the box, the cheaper the shipping. It all depends, you know. Um, the shipping costs have gone through the roof on a package that's any larger than uh, 12 inches in diameter. So, just so you know. 
Okay. Oh, and you can also, if somebody is buying more than one item, you're just going to oh, combine yeah. this. Oh, yeah. I will combine everything into one box if you're buying more than one item. Absolutely. I'm not going to send, like, separate boxes. Well, just. No. Yeah. <laughs> verification. Um, okay. Next I have. Uh, hold on one second. I have a question from Carolyn. Ask your mom if she'd like to sell the two home interior plaques separate from the strawberry daisy picture. Uh, sure. Uh, how's 10 bucks sound for the two plaques? You can continue and then I'll give you uh, All right. an update. <laughs> okay. I'm always willing to work with, with everyone. So, um, okay. Next up is... This gorgeous, this is number 21, this beautiful, look at this little teapot, you guys. Tell me that is not gorgeous. It has all these beautiful little forget-me-not flowers on it. I actually had the uh, sugar bowl, and I was reaching for something on a shelf, and the item fell off the shelf and smashed the darn... Sugar bowl. Oh my God, I was so mad. Um, Carolyn is going to take the two plaques for 10. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, can you Carolyn. Just tell me what the number is again? Um, okay, that would be number 13, and then just write down the pla just okay. plaques. Just okay. plaques. Yeah, number 13. Uh, no. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was the picture and the plaques was no, number that's 13. Not. Number 13 is the God Bless Our Home. Well, what am I looking at? Oh, it's number 14. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, this is number 21, and I'm asking $15 for this gorgeous little teapot. It's in excellent condition. Beautiful. This would look really pretty uh, with a plant inside. I think it would look gorgeous. All right. I love that little teapot. All right. Next is this beautiful Fenton. It is the green satin bell. This also as well glows uh, when a black light is on it. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at those beautiful hand-painted flowers. Gorgeous. This, uh, it says hand-painted by Beth Thornton. This is number 22, and I'm asking uh, $12 for it. Beautiful. Beautiful. People are asking where are the cats? Well... Uh, let's see. Binks is over there laying on the heater because <laughs> my heater is in the floor in the kitchen. And Sophie is over there having a little drink of water. And poor Max is still held prisoner down cellar. <laughs> um, Corey, the thrifted artist, would like number 22. Okay, that is the bell, the satin bell. Awesome. All right, next up on the agenda are these two awesome... McCoy handled chili bowls in the brown drip pattern. Uh, there you can see McCoy. Very nice bowls. Excellent condition. These are number 23, and I'm asking $12 for the set. Very cool. I love that brown drip. Very rustic looking. Okay, now I can put my paper on the table. I have a little room. Uh, next is number 24. I have another lot of the ruby red uh, vases from Anchor Hawking. There's a set of three. Um, for the set of three, I'm asking $15 or best offer. <laughs> We have these three. They're all different shapes. Those two. And this one. They're gorgeous. I love them. 
So that's the set of three for $15 or best offer, and it's number 24. All right. Do you have any roosters that you're doing today? I have no roosters, okay. Somebody had only asked. because I collect them. So <laughs> they're all on my shelf over here. <laughs> but what I may do is I may go through my collection and wean some out. Um, and if I do, then I will include those um, when I do another live um, sale. So, all right. Next we have um, number 25, and it's this gorgeous... I call it a little bluebird trinket uh, dish. Look at the beautiful painting on there. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter says hi. Hi, Misty. <laughs> hi, Cheryl. Yes, it is gorgeous. It has the gilding on the edges. It's in perfect condition. Um, I was asking $10 for this little beauty. This is number 25. Gorgeous. Um, okay, number 26 is this beautiful, I, I believe this is like sandwich glass. Um, gorgeous, creamer and Hold sugar. On one second, we have Dusty Attic Diggers number 24. Okay, so this Dusty is, uh, wants the vases. Yeah. All right, Dusty. Oh, nope, sorry, 25. Nope, 25. Oh, the trinket dish. Yeah. Great choice. It's really beautiful. That's awesome. So I have this gorgeous set. You can see the pattern there. It's really beautiful. I love the shape of this creamer with the scalloped edges. It's really, really stunning. And for the set, I was asking $15 or best offer. Um, this is number 26. There is no lid for the sugar bowl, so I don't know if it came with a lid or if it's considered an open sugar bowl. So there's that set. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to start putting some stuff over here. All right, on to page two. Next, I have this little teeny tiny bud vase. <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful. Of course, I have my sticker on there. But um, this is number 27. And I was asking um, $5 for this. It's just adorable. It's about, I would say, uh, uh, three, three to four inches tall. Uh, Gorgeous. Sandra, Chandra, okay. like number 27. Beautiful. This is bone china, by the way, and it's made in Japan. Sorry if I butcher anybody's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we have next here? Okay. Next is number 28. And this is a mid-century modern ashtray. Check this out, you guys. Is that like an amoeba shape or what? I believe it's California pottery. It says USA on the back. Oh, Sandra. Okay, I did. <laughs> I said it right the first time. <laughs> so um, it's a beautiful mint green color with the white um, like drip design on there. No cracks, no chips. It's really cool. And this is number 28. And I was asking $15 or best offer. So there you go. I have to move this iPad out of the way. Thank you. All right. Let's have a big shout out to my daughter for helping me out with this sale. Yay! Jessica. <laughs> Does anybody want anything Disney? Yes, my daughter has a lot of Disney stuff that she's selling. So um, you guys, if you're interested in any Disney stuff, 
you could email her on her uh, YouTube channel, uh, which is Sincerely Jessica. Or, or, just, or just comment in here and we will right. know whether or not maybe we can add some items in a sale. Way to go, does. Jessica. Yay, Jessica. Shout it out loud. <laughs> Yay. My poor daughter busted her butt the last couple of days out in our yard because with this torn rotator cuff, I really can't do all that stuff, raking and all that. So she went out and she dug up the flower beds, raked all the leaves up, and trust and believe, I had enough leaves from about 20 trees in my yard. So she was uh, she was a, a, a lifesaver. So thank you, Do Dolly. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, next are these. This is number 29. And these are Occupied Japan. These are Bisque wall plaques 3d they're absolutely gorgeous very like 18th century yes vibe. they are beautiful um let me show you the back these are made by chase hand painted chase made in occupied japan and they have the little hangers on the back which i would switch out to some fresh wire Aren't they gorgeous, Georgie? I know. They are beautiful. So these, I was asking um, $15 or best to offer for the pair. Number 29. Yes, Misty. Thumbs up for me. Woohoo. <laughs> so there we go. Number 29. $15 or best offer. These are very delicate makes me nervous even like touching them <laughs> all right next is number 30 and it is a pink depression glass bonbon server it is beautiful my daughter wants to know what a bonbon is can you guys like fill her in <laughs> are they just like a little dessert this is number 30 and i was asking 12 dollars it's candy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an excellent condition. It's beautiful. All right. And actually, what I should have been doing is the sold stuff. I should have been putting in a separate spot, but we'll take care of that after. You know me. I don't do anything like I'm supposed to. I just make it harder for myself. Got to have a sip of OJ, guys. I just wanted to update all of you. Who wants number 30? Uh, Margaret. Oh, okay. All right, Margaret. Beautiful. Um, I wanted to update everybody on, you know, the, the situation that's going on in the world today that that's all anybody ever talks about anymore. Uh, we have more confirmed cases where I work. And we've had three deaths over the last couple of days. Don't know if it was from that or not. However, the floor that these people passed away on, um, I believe two of them were on the floor that is uh, has cases, you know. Uh, so please say a prayer for me because uh, I was not feeling well at all last night. I had very um, heavy chested feeling, almost like I had bronchitis um, because I, I do have bronchitis. I used to get it every now and again. Sleep. Yeah, I used to get it all the time when I smoked. And um, so it felt like I, I had bronchitis. I had a fever. I got up at 2.30 in the morning trying to find my thermometer. Guess what thermometer I had to use, guys? <laughs> a rectal <laughs> thermometer. But it was brand new in the package, so nobody used it prior. <laughs> but um, it was actually a rectal thermometer that I showed in one of my haul videos. <laughs> but anyways, um, so my temperature was 100. And as I said, I had the heaviness in the chest and I had a terrible headache as well. 
So I'm just, I'm hoping. And, but then when I got up this morning, I felt a little bit better, but I do still feel a little tightness in my chest. So, um, I, I hope, I hope I don't have this, but anyways, so I just figured I'd give you guys a little update. All right. Next we have this gorgeous, this is number 31. Where do you guys see this? This gorgeous dragon wear trinket box. Look at that. It's like a mother of pearl. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in perfect condition. It has no chips or cracks. Um, I was asking $12 for it. Let me show you. There's the inside. And let me give you another close-up. Look at this dragon. He is, like, amazing. It gives me very, like, Asian, like, either China or yes. Japan vibes. It's gorgeous. So... Again, that's number 31 for $12. I love it. All right. Next is this gorgeous. This is elegant depression glass. This is, um, I have to check my thing. It, this is by Fostoria, and it's Navari. And it's a relish dish. Oh, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> I got some super chat going on. Yay! <laughs> um, this gorgeous Fostoria, it has, it's footed, and it's three-section relish dish. Look at those handles. Beautiful. And look at this gorgeous pattern on there. It is stunning. So this is number 32, and I was asking $15 or best offer. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. We're getting there, guys. Uh, let me see. Next, we have number 33, which are these very cool Art Deco candle holders in pink and black. Tell me those are not cool. I love these. It's the set of two, and I'm asking $12 for the set of two. Beautiful. Number 33. I just love the, so awesome. All right. Joanne Barber. Baber. Joanne Baber. 33. All right. Art Deco candle holders. Woohoo. All right. What's up, Misty? How you doing, Dolly? Uh, all right. Next I have oh, number Just do a quick recap. Okay. We'll do a recap. So, for everybody that's just coming in, I am uh, doing a live sale. Um, most of the items I've marked ahead of time, but some of them I'm going to do a best offer on, and I will let you know that. Um, it is strictly through PayPal. So what you need to do if you buy something or if you want something, shout out the number of the item, and my daughter will write your name down next to that item. After the sale, uh, you can contact me uh, in my email address, which is in my description box of all my videos. Uh, contact me with your mailing address and your PayPal email address. Because what I will do, since all of these items are without the shipping costs included, I will package them up, weigh them, and I will send you an invoice uh, via PayPal for the total cost, including shipping. All right? I'm sorry that I'm not doing checks and stuff like that. It's just, it's very hard, um, especially now with, you know, what's going on and the banks and all that stuff. So maybe in the future, um, I will let people send me checks. And then once they clear, I'll mail out your, your purchase. 
All right, with that being said, I'm gonna have another sip of orange juice because I'm drier than a bone. Ah, uh, yes. Who likes orange juice with pulp or without pulp? That's the question of the day. Orange juice with or without pulp? Aw, oh, thank you, Joanne. <laughs> she said we're doing a great job. We're trying. This is my first time ever doing it, but I learned from watching um, Alex and Misty, so I hope I'm doing all right. Wow, a lot of people are... With vodka, yes! <laughs> a lot of people say no pulp. Oh, I, I love it with the pulp. It's like little pieces of oranges. With vodka, I hear you, my friend. Nothing better than a good old screwdriver. <laughs> All right. Next we have... Oh, okay. Number 30... No, wait a minute. Number 34, which is this beautiful little set. This is, um, I'm trying to see where it's from. I can't remember now. It's got, it says Crown uh, Staffordshire. That's all I can tell you. But it's this gorgeous little creamer and sugar set. Look at the gorgeous colors on there. Absolutely stunning. It's beautiful and it's bone china. And I was asking $12 for the pair. It's really, really gorgeous. So number 34, Staffordshire Creamer Sugar for $12. Okay, next we have number 35. And it is... Uh, Rachel M would like 34. All right. Okay, Rachel. Um, okay, so next are a set of three of these Libby Frosted Pheasant Tumblers. Really cool barware. I have, I have three of them. And I was asking um, $15 for the set of three. They're really cool. There's no chips, no cracks. The paint is really in excellent condition. Very, very little paint loss, if any. So again, that is, uh, where am I at? Number 35, $15 for the set of three. I love barware. All right, next, number 36 is this gorgeous James Kent Daisy Teapot. It is beautiful. It's got the little daisy on the lid. It has like a scalloped edging going around here. No cracks, no chips, very clean inside, but it does have some crazing, as you could see there. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It is earthenware. So number 36, $15. Absolutely gorgeous. I would keep it myself, but I don't have the room because I love daisies, but can't keep everything. All right. Next, we have this beautiful olive green hand-blown. Oh, um, hold on one second. Oh. Uh, Joanne said she came in on 31. Is it Dragonware? Yes, it is. It's the Dragonware trinket box for $12. Um, next is this gorgeous hand-blown olive green. It almost looks to me like a cruet, but it has the uh, applied handle. 
It's absolutely beautiful. This would look pretty with just a few sprigs of uh, little flowers in here. It's gorgeous. So this I was asking $10 for, and it's number 37. Sandy. Sandy wants 37. Okay, Sandy, it is yours, my friend. Beautiful. And Joanne wants 31. Okay. Awesome. All right, next, in keeping with the glassware, is number 38, and it's this beautiful yellow crackle pitcher hand blown with an applied handle. Um, it does have, it looks like part of the handle was broken right here because there's still little remnants of it down here. So it broke off right over here. We have but no it's, tiered trays, correct? No, no tiered trays. I'm sorry. Um, actually, I do. Oh, actually, I do. If you'll give me one minute, let me finish talking about this. I have a gorgeous white alabaster. I know what you're talking about. Oh, she's going to go get it. Three-tiered tray. It is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. So my daughter just went to get it. But in the meantime, so we have this gorgeous yellow crackle vase. Like I said, a little bit of the handle was broken off right here, but the whole, it's still attached up here. And it's really beautiful. It reminds me of sunshine. And this would be ten dollars, and it's number thirty-eight. You're gonna have to get it because I don't know where it is. Ten dollars. Hi, Vinny. What's up, buddy? <laughs> How are you, uh, faring with all of this baloney going on? I love vintage Vinny. <laughs> he finds like the most amazing vintage stuff. You have no idea. He's awesome. You're gonna have to look for because um, I don't know where it is. All right. At the end, when I get done with these items, I will run and I will get that three-tiered tray. Okay, next we have uh, number 39 is the scent, the scent set of Ruby Red Anchor Hocking Cups, set of three with the D handle. You've been a lazy punk. <laughs> I wish I could be a lazy punk, trust me. I would love to. Five more years and I could be as lazy as I wanna be. Um, so this is number 39 and I'm asking $12 for the set of three. Perfect shape, no chips, no cracks. I love this ruby red glass, I think it's so pretty. All right, uh, next we have number 40, and it is this set. Whoops, they're stuck together. Uh, these are, I forget who makes them. Um, bicycle built for two in the forest green color. These are gorgeous uh, tumblers or Tom Collins glasses. Take Tuesday off too. <laughs> you know what? You never know. I might just call in sick. I have a lot of sick time. <laughs> um, so this is number 40, and I'm asking $12 for the set of two. Uh, Lynn has a quick question. Okay. The Daisy teapot was number 36. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, it was. Yes, I am. I actually... Um, I was, I'm like burned out. So Thursday, um, I told my boss, I said, I got to have some time off. I got to have, you know, I had to cancel my vacation. So she said, well, why don't you take Friday and Monday off? And I said, thank you very much. Uh, so I did. And it's, uh, it's been nice just hanging out at home. So anyway, so uh, number 40 are these bicycle built for two Tom Collins glasses for $12. Lynn would like number 36. Okay. That's the teapot. All righty. Beautiful. And it's a gorgeous teapot. You're going to love it. All right. Next we have number 41. We have this vintage Hazel Atlas. 
beautiful um, cocktail shaker. It doesn't have a lid or anything, but it has all the different cars on there. Number 41, sold Alex? Yes. Okay. So this is awesome. And this was $12, just so you know, Alex. Number 41, $12. And I don't know if you can see it. I can see it, but I can see the HA on the bottom. It's very hard to see. But there it is. Hi, Bounce Back. How you doing? I'm sorry, guys. I haven't really been chatting much. I just want to kind of get all the sales done, and then I could chit-chat with you guys. All right. Next, we have number 42, um, which is, let me see. Where is it? Uh, oh, <laughs> right in front of me. This is a stunning piece, you guys. And this was a hand made piece that I bought at an estate sale. Look at this gorgeous, it's an egg-shaped daisy vase. Look at those colors. All gilded in gold. And it is uh, to Joan and John 10, 15, 1966. This is a beautiful piece. It's yellow on the inside. And the person who made it has her initials right here on the bottom. So I am asking uh, $15 for this gorgeous vase. This is number 42 for $15. Okay, number 43 is this Amber Hobnail Bell. Um, again, I don't know if it's Fenton or not. It probably is because the little vase that I had is on the same lines. So, um, uh, Joanne would like 42. Oh, the Daisy Vase. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Um, this is number, uh, what did I say? 43. 43 and I'm asking $10 for this. It has the little crystal clanger there. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Clap, clapper, clanger, whatever. <laughs> the ding dong thing. <laughs> okay, next we have a California pottery piece. Now, I bought this piece at a, a yard sale, and it did have some chips and stuff on it, which I did fix. I touched them up and everything, and it looks beautiful. And it is a dip server. Let me grab this. Thank you. Look at this piece. All right, I'm going to hold. Let me take the lids off. <laughs> Look at that awesome 70s, 60s, 70s design. That is awesome. It reminds me of flames. This is the bottom. And these are the lids that go on the little compartments. It's just gorgeous. And um, there are some areas that I just noticed there's a couple little chippies there, which I can touch up as well. But um, this is number 44, and I'm asking $20 for it. Again, it's a California pottery piece. Vinny says it's a chip and dip server. Yes, a chip and dip server. Isn't it cool, Vinny? I love it. It does have, I just noticed, it does have a little bit of... Um, wear right here on the top. But other than that, it's really... Who is the maker of that? Uh, California Pottery. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Jess, can you set that over there? Thank you. All righty. Uh, oh, next is another beautiful piece. 
could be Fenton. Uh, number 45 is this gorgeous amber swung hobnail vase. It is just beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Either that or treasure craft. Yep, could be. It could be Vinny. But it has the numbers on the bottom, which leads me to think it, it's California. But, you know, I am definitely not an expert. Who wants 45? Sandy. Okay. Sandy, this is $18. Okay. $18. Somebody, um, a couple people have called it Sequoia. This. Oh, Sequoia? I'll have to look that up. Can you spell that for me? And I'll have my daughter write oh, it down. It oh, chat. never mind. She's got it. <laughs> okay, so Sandy, this beautiful swung vase is yours. Um, Getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay, that was number 45, the vase. Number 46 is this gorgeous cobalt blue and clear glass. A uh, basket with applied handles. Whoa, I almost Give knocked the vase over. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is number 46, and I'm asking 15 for it. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And it has a pretty um, pattern on the bottom. You can see the Pontel mark. So it was hand-blown. Just stunning. All right. Number 47. I know Vinny's probably going to think this is really cool. Oh, I love cobalt blue. I love cobalt blue, Vinny. I'm right there with you. I love it. Um, is this Looney Tunes light cover. This is from 1995. It's in perfect condition. There are no, no chips anywhere on here. This is an awesome, awesome piece. For anybody that has grandkids or your own kids that love Looney Tunes, this would look awesome in a bedroom. Um, this is number 47, and I'm asking $20 for it. I love it. That's the year you were born. Oh, get out of here, Vinny. I was born in 1963. <laughs> All right. Next is number 48. No, that's the year Vinny was born. I know. I'm telling him I was born in 63. Oh, I thought you thought no. that he said that No, 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 no. I, <laughs> I know what he said. <laughs> I read it. Yeah, we're, we're a little punchy here, guys. <laughs> um, I actually have 51 items because I forgot those two right there. <laughs> and the tiered tray. Right, I know. I have to go get that. Awesome year. You're damn skippy. Yes, it is. Um, okay, number 48. I'm, I'm uh, considering these... Um, in the same lot, but I will sell them separately, are these vintage, new old stock, uh, Lady Pepperell pillowcases. No iron muslin. There are these ones as well. And I actually opened the one package because somebody saw them in my um, listings. They wanted to see what they looked like. So I will pull one out and show you guys. I wish they weren't blue. The flowers. But this is the pattern. It's beautiful. I love them. Okay. And I believe that they're both the same pattern. Um, so I'm asking, what was I asking? $12 a set for number 40. What number is it? I just ripped the package trying 48. to put this back in. 48. $12 a set for these gorgeous vintage pillowcases. Lady Pepperell, and what was the other ones? These ones are Fairfax. 
No iron muslin. All right, number 49 is this mid-century modern cocktail shaker. This is an excellent, excellent condition. It's pretty tall. I mean, it's got to be like 12 inches tall, I would say. And it, there's the top. Hi, Jess. <laughs> I can see you in the top. Uh, it has the screw-off uh, thing for pouring. You're welcome, Stan. <laughs> There we are. It's really an awesome condition. It is glass. Yes, it is. It's gorgeous. So this one I'm asking $15 for, and it's number 49. Number 50 is this beautiful, I believe it's flow blue. And one of my friends said they thought it might be a little mustard pot missing the lid. But it's this gorgeous little, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the way that shades down like that. That's the top. There's no chips and no cracks. It's just beautiful. So I was asking uh, $12 for this little item, and this is number 50. $5 in free shipping. <laughs> um, a couple people yes, want I you to, at the end, recap. just quickly run through some of the items. Okay. Um, number 51. I actually forgot about these two items here. Go figure, you know, CRS. Um, these two Anchor Hacking uh, Forest Green vases, it is for the set. Um, they're in great shape. There's no cracks, no chips. Um, there is a little bit of like maybe hazing on the inside. But other than that, they're in perfect shape. So um, I was thinking of asking $12 for the pair. And this is number 51. All right, now, if you guys will give me one minute, I'm going to run and grab that gorgeous three-tiered tray. So enjoy my uh, Easter display. <laughs> what is hazing, Mom? Um, it's when the, gla when the glass gets a little bit of foggy. Looking. It gets a little foggy looking from foggy. use. Foggy, cloudy. Uh, yes, 29 is the two porcelain plaques with like the 18th century looking people. Yes, the occupied Japan. And how, how you will pay is you will email her the item number that you want and then you will, she will send you an invoice via PayPal for the total amount because each item does not include shipping. Shipping will be calculated once she receives your home address. All right, I am back with this gorgeous um, alabaster glass. Uh, it's a two-tiered tray, not a three-tiered. And I'm just gonna show you the, the tiers first. Look at that, is that not absolutely gorgeous? Show you the back. This is the top tier. And then this is the bottom tier. Still has the tags on it. It's absolutely stunning. Look uh, at this. Sandra was like 20. No, Chandra. No, oh. she corrected me. It is Sandra. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> she was like number 29, which is those Japan 18th century okay. metal plaques. Okay, yep. Okay, so this is the two tiers right here. And then it has the, the little doohickeys, you know, that you screw on there to put them together. Everything is in the bag for them. 
Um, this tray I was hoping to get $30 for, um, if anyone is interested. So you can put that on there, the alabaster two-tiered tray. That would be what, number 52? Yep. And $30. Murano glass two-tiered tray hardware. This is alabaster glass, Vinny. Um, yes, you could use this for food. Absolutely. Uh, it would look beautiful with baked goods on it. But I think you could also use it um, for decor purposes as well. I mean, it is really gorgeous. Put perfumes on it. It is. It's very unusual and very pretty. Angela oh. would like number 52. Okay, Angela, you got it, girlfriend. It is gorgeous. It really is. Um, um, the bear plaque. Somebody was asking me about my bear plaque. And yes, I do still have it. Let me get it. I'll show it to you. Uh... Lightning bug, the paperweight. Give me a second. I just have to look at the paper. I don't know what number the paperweight is. Um, it's I have it right here. It is number four, I think. Blown glass. Yes, number yes. four. Yep, that's number four. Right. And it was $15. All right. Here is the bear plaque. Hold on. I just have to. Oh, never mind. Misty did it. Oh, thanks, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your help. I love you. <laughs> this is the gorgeous bear plaque that I thrifted a while back. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I listed it, but I'm, you know. You know how I am. Uh, ooh, Samantha wants it. The bear plaque? Yes. Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that's number 53. Isn't it awesome, Vinny? It was hand-painted. Um, the initials are right here on the back. It was a ceramic piece. Um, $20 okay, sweetie, sweetie, sweeties? <laughs> okay, Samantha, is 20 bucks okay for this bear plaque? Let me know. Yes, it's hand painted. It's a ceramic piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the detailing. Look at the colors. What it's is, just gorgeous. What is the email that you have for YouTube? It's Hazel Ed Gal at yes. 63. Yeah. Gmail. Okay. Uh, my daughter's going to put my email address in here for you. It looks like something Ashley Rose would get. <laughs> yes, it is ceramic. All right, I'm going to read it back to you really quick. Okay. Just so that way it's right. All right, so the email that you guys will be sending your number to for the items that you guys want is H-A-Z-E-L-I-D. G A L number 63 at gmail.com. And I'm putting no AOL.com. No, for oh, okay. Yes, Gmail. I'm sorry. Yep, at gmail.com. And I'm sending the comments now. Okay. So, Samantha, you said $20 was okay for this plaque? She said that. I think so. Yeah. Nice job, Jess. <laughs> Yes. So there's the plaque. And Misty just made a good point. This video will be saved to her channel. Right. So anything that hasn't been sold, you can then privately message her if you missed the live or if you stumbled in late or anything like that. If there's something that you guys are interested in, you can definitely go ahead and email her after you guys watch the video once it's posted right. um, to the channel. Right. Um, somebody asked me, and I can't remember who it was, about a party light item, and I don't, I don't know who it was. Oh, Candle Hoarder. Oh, thank you, Candle Hoarder. Actually, it wasn't my idea. I copied Misty and Alex at Chapter 2 Vintage. <laughs> I have nothing else to do on this Sunday. Why not? 
other than make sauce. I already have my meatballs, so yep, making sauce and meatballs today. Um, okay, so Samantha's good with the 20 for the yep, plaque. I have it written down. Awesome. Number 53, so that way she knows. What does my shirt say? Oh, hang on. Is that not like the best shirt ever? <laughs> Somebody bought it for me for Christmas that I used to work with. It's my first time wearing it. I thought, what an appropriate time to wear it. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. I appreciate it. Vinny. Lynn K asked about the party light piece. Lynn K, which party light piece are you... Um, asking about. Oh, thanks, Georgie. I know it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's so me. I mean, really. I know it's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> what else do I got? Oh my God. I, you guys have no idea what I have in my eBay room right now. Can you post the email again? Oh, okay. Just she just make, sent make it sure again. I typed it right. Okay. I'm actually, I'm thinking maybe we could just... I'll be right back, guys. I need a Kleenex. I got a runny nose for some reason. Can you grab me a Sharpie? Because I'm going to just write it long ways on a paper so that way you can hold it up and okay. then they can write it down. All right. The Sharpie is right... Well, it was here. Oh, I, it's right there. Okay. Here. Did she say which party light item she was talking uh, about? Lynn. It was a while ago in one of your videos... Party light snowman. Oh. Um, I don't know if I still have that in my room. If you want to make, wait a minute, it, um, I'll go check real quick. Hold on. If I'm not back in two minutes, send in the troops. Okay, I did find a party light. Um, let me move some of the stuff out of my way, guys. Ugh. I'm sore. And I didn't even do much outside yesterday. I mean, my she was like, holy crap. She was busting butt yesterday. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay. Um... Let me know if this is what you were talking about. This is the one thing that I have in my eBay room. It's so, so pretty. But is this the one you're talking about? Let me know. What? That's it. You want it. Okay, Lynn. <laughs> uh, is $15 okay for you? Let me know. It's all yours, sweetie. Please do more of these. Oh, I absolutely will. Actually, I was sitting yesterday going through the items in my Etsy shop. I was watching a video uh, by uh, Real Nifty Vintage, Jeffrey. Okay, she said that's cool. Okay. Um, and talking about, you know, Etsy and all the changes that Etsy's made and blah, blah. And he's actually going to um, quit at, um, Etsy and sell solely on eBay. And I do prefer eBay much more over Etsy because it's so much easier to list things on eBay. So... I was going through all my listings on Etsy and I was thinking I'm going to close my Etsy shop and just sell on eBay. So a lot of these items were in my Etsy shop. So um, that's why I decided to do this. Instead of like trying to relist them all on eBay, I figured why not do a live sale first and whatever is left, I can just, you know, 
sell on eBay. So it is very complicated. It's ridiculous. You got to do 15 different things just to sell one item. Would I take $12 instead of 15 for the paperweight? Absolutely. I absolutely would. Hold on one second. I just want to make sure that the person who asked about it was there. There's nothing. There. Um, let me see who it was. Just look at the thing. Just make sure I didn't write her name down. Um, because I know somebody asked about it. It was Marilyn Allums. Mm, that's not who asked about it prior to. I don't believe. She asked if just, I would say 12. Okay, so this is my email address, everyone. Put it up close. So, that way they can so you guys can write it down. And this is how you can get a hold of me for your items that you purchased. Okay. And in case you're wondering how to pronounce it. It's not Hazel ID Gal. It's Hazel Eyed Gal because I have hazel eyes. <laughs> so there you go. I hope that helps you guys out there. Just double check on the paperweight. Nope. Okay. So the paperweight we're doing for, for $12. $12. $12. So the paperweight is sold, the Apple one, Number the Mill of Fiori, for $12 to, was Maryland. it Mary? Marilyn Allums? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> my daughter did that, Vinny. <laughs> he said, do you think you could write it a little bigger? I can't see it. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> um, she just wanted to make sure. <laughs> because there's people out there that are blind like me that can't see. <laughs> um, I also have two other items I thought I would show you guys. Um, they are like winter items, but I've had them sitting here and I never listed them. And uh, so I figured I would show you and I'm selling it. I could sell them singly or as a set, but it is this beautiful Cardinal Bell. I know it's loud. No chips, no cracks. I have no idea who makes it. And then I have... This plate that kind of goes with it. It's for that very rustic uh, Christmas decor. And this was, a, <laughs> this was originally from TJ Maxx. Um, isn't it pretty? I just love it. So if I sell it as a set, because I really think it goes pretty together, I probably would sell the set for like, I don't know, $20. Singly, I would sell the bell for 10 and maybe this for 10. So if anyone's interested, let me know. Crazy lamp lady and ring my bell. Oh my God. <laughs> Vinny, you are too much. <laughs> all right. So everyone, that is all of my items for today. Um, as I said, I will be saving this live video, so if any of you guys uh, go back and watch it and you see anything that you like that isn't already sold, um, you can let me know. Um, just let me know if you're interested in something, and if it's already sold, I'll let you know. That's We'll do it that way. Um, um, all right, hold on. I have to get... Oh, okay, the order right numbers. Things. Okay. Number 21, hang on a minute, you guys. Sandra, you have number 27, the tiny bud vase for $5. You also have the two wall plaques. That is number 29 for $15. And I believe that is it. Oh, I love you guys too. Hi, Mary. Interested in 21 teapot. 21 teapot. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and read all this stuff because... The forget-me-not teapot. The small, the small little one. The, with the blue flowers. Right. That's number 21? Yeah. So okay, somebody, somebody, somebody was interested in it. Okay, where is it? Uh, right here. This is the little teapot. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. 
It's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. It's and beautiful. What is the price? Fifteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars. This would look like I said before. It would look gorgeous. Oh, a super chat! Thank you, Dusty. Dusty uh, Attic Diggers. Woohoo! <laughs> Rachel, it, did you want that teapot? Let us know, Rachel, if you want the teapot or not. Oh, she wants. Oh no, wait. Danetti match cards. Yeah, there's. Hi, Jill. How are you? Um, we got to check to see who asked about this first. Rachel. Maldonado? Rachel is the one who wanted us to reshow it. So. Okay, so Rachel, is this, this, Rachel, do you want this, sweetheart? I missed your, um, hi, Judy. How are you? How you faring with all of this baloney going on? Okay, Rachel wants it. Okay. Okay, so Rachel, it's yours, right honey. Down. Perfect. I mean, you know, I could go back in my room and bring out all um, kinds of stuff, but you know. That Deb would... would like the cardinal bell. Are you interested in splitting up yes. the pair? Okay. Yes, the cardinal bell would be ten dollars, Deb. said okay okay All right, so the bell. <laughs> yes go get it <laughs> everybody's like bring it on oh my goodness okay you know what let me move for now just so everybody knows because i have a lot of people asking for their specific numbers and i know misty is addressing it right now i have a list of everybody who wanted everything with their specific number so just email if it makes it easier for you when you guys email her just say i made a purchase and then she will go ahead and go through our list she'll send you an email back verifying your numbers and then we'll go from there if that makes it easier But while she's digging, I can go ahead and hold on one second. Carolyn, you are number 16. And... And 14, the two plaques, and then the small bud vase. And then Rachel, you are number 20, 21, and 34. who are just popping on the live is coming to an end for the most part there's a couple more items that she's going to be showing but the video will be saved on her channel so you can go back watch the live if there's certain items that you are interested in you can go ahead and email her and she'll let you know whether or not the item has sold um, already and then if it's not, then you will be able to purchase it at that point. Would you lift this up? Just lay it gently on there and set this over there if you can. All right, you guys. I am going to show you uh, four more items. 
if you guys um, are interested in Disney things, my mom currently has some listed on her shop. I probably won't be doing the live for a little bit, um, but she does have some of my items available on her eBay shop if you guys want yep. to take a look. All right, so I have one, two, three, four other items that I'm going to share with you guys today, and then we're going to we're going to end the um, the live sale. And I definitely will be doing another one, maybe in a couple weeks. So first up is this gorgeous Longa Burger pitcher. Can you spell that? L O N G A. B U R N E R? B E R G E R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this is a gorgeous pitcher. And it still has the paperwork that was inside. Oh, you could have just gave me that. <laughs> I could have wrote it down that way. <laughs> oh, so, anyways, I do have this available, and this I was asking $30 for if anyone is interested. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's in perfect condition. Perfect condition. Next up are some mid-century modern pieces. I have had these pieces for quite a while and for anyone that has a bar in their home, these would be awesome additions. I have this Tiki, I believe it's Tiki um, Bamboo or something glasses with the caddy. All the glasses are in perfect condition. There's no chips or cracks in any of the glasses. This is what they look like. They have like a bamboo. That's bamboo. Yep, bamboo pattern. There are uh, four green ones and then four amber ones. And they come with the caddy. So if anyone's interested, I'm looking for $20 for this set. For the items that didn't sell, um, we are not going to be able to go through all of them. So once the video is saved on her channel, you can go back through and uh, look at the items again. Uh, yeah, Angela would... said sold glasses. Oh, awesome. Yay. Finally, those are the coolest glasses ever. I mean, they're fabulous. Thanks, Angela. And that is number 57. Yeah, I, I'll have to look at your sheet and do the add-ons on here because I don't have it. What is the number? 57. Okay. And Next. What was the price, Mom? 20. Next is this awesome check this out you guys this awesome mid-century modern coffee warmer carafe whatever you want to call it this is like so cool i mean it's in excellent shape it does have a little bit of paint loss but this would be cool just for decoration in your kitchen you know on your counter or whatever it has the stand, and actually, there's still a candle in there. <laughs> and of course, you know, the base does have some uh, patina issues, you know, because it's old, but it's in really good condition. So, uh, and this is, I think this is Pyrex. Let me see here. I'm pretty sure it is. Now I can't find it. Look at that cool lid. Come on now. I can't find it. So I don't know if it's Pyrex or not, but it looks like it could be. But it's a very cool mid-century modern piece. So this I'm asking $15 for if anyone is interested. Okay, the last item. Uh, which City Click says sold that's so number 58 the coffee warmer city click i 
I don't know how to do the floss. I don't know either. I can't do it. <laughs> Hi, Angela. I have another one coming up right now. Look at this gorgeous mid-century modern drink caddy. This is amazing. Number 59. Number 59. It is beautiful. It has the wheat pattern on all the glasses. They're partially frosted. Very little paint loss on these glasses, okay? And the actual uh, caddy is in excellent shape as well. This is a beautiful set. This set, however, I am asking uh, $25 for, or best offer. Aren't they amazing? I know. They're awesome. So it's a set of eight glasses and the caddy for $25. So if anyone's interested in those, let us know. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this live sale. This was so much fun. Justin, wasn't this fun? Yeah. I love it. So I will be doing another, uh, probably another live um, in a, maybe a couple weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I certainly did. It was a lot of fun. Um, I love to be able to chat with you guys. Uh, of course, I couldn't chat a whole lot because I was trying to sell things. So, but um, I will go back and read all of the, everyone's comments and stuff. So um, I, I just want to say thanks to all of you for uh, taking part in this live sale. Thank you, Misty, Vinny, everyone that helped me out. I, I so appreciate it. Uh, Vinny, you're just too funny. Uh, I love you. You are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure having you here, let me tell you. So everyone, have a great Sunday. Please stay safe, follow all the guidelines, and um, I'll catch you very soon. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye. again. Bye. <laughs>